Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for July 31st, 2020. And um this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody, so please do take what resonates with you, take what feels good with you, and the rest of it, just let it go. If it doesn't feel right with you, then most likely it just does not belong to you. So really, just take what feels, what 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 is okay with your emotions and your story, okay? And if ever you do have any other questions and you would like to um, have any information on a um, personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com, and it'll be my great pleasure to send you the information on the different types of readings that I can offer you. Now that being said, very importantly, before we do begin, if you have been um, watching my channel, my videos, and my messages, and you do enjoy them, please do, now is the time to please subscribe to my channel and to show your support, to show your encouragement um, to my channel and to myself, and you know, that is going to mean the world to me. So without further ado, let's begin this reading for you. Now what is this reading all about? This reading is... Um, Love, issues, problems, what's going on, okay? There seems to be like a little bit of a break, a little bit of coldness here. Uh, why aren't we moving forward? Why are we stuck? What's the stagnation, okay? This is what we want to try and find out here. So I have uh, three decks here that we're mixing up to try and see a little bit of what's going on to get some more information. So I have the Enchanted Map, I have the Romance Oracles, and I have the Tea Leaf Oracles. So let's flip these over and let's go see, um, you know, in a nice short and sweet, fa sweet fashion what's going on. So here we go. I have solitude. I have a compass. I also have separation with trust. I have career. I have a hat and I have a ram. All right. So, okay. So let's get a quick picture of this. So I feel as though right now your partner is living a moment of um, a solitude. We're going to begin with this card here, okay? I really do feel like like both of you are a little bit in this little moment of wondering, of, of trying to figure out exactly what is going on. And when we do get, you know, this card here of... Um, of solitude, it's really about, you know, taking some time alone. This is medic, um, not medication, but meditation is required when you receive this card usually. It really is all about emptying your mind of any superfluous thoughts, anything that is extra, anything that is not necessary. Um, this is really about trying to figure out what is good for you, okay? What it is that you want. And this is not you who's doing this. This is your partner who's doing this, okay? They're allowing, um, how could I say, stillness to just flow through their whole being right now. And this is not an, adva an advantage time to ask any questions or to pu push forward in any way for you, okay? This is really a period for conscious retreat. This is really about taking a step back and just trying to focus on uh, the life and troubles and uh, what kind of issues and what we can do for them, okay? So this is really whenever your partner is going to be ready, whenever your partner is going to get out of this little, mo this little mood, this little retreat, they're going to be replenished. They're going to have uh, perhaps their answers or at least a certain map, a certain way to go. And it's all making quite sense with, you know, the compass who's right beside because I feel as though this is what your partner is looking for. I feel as though they're taking a moment to find what it is that they want. And, you know, we do have the separation card here that goes along with it. And this is all about taking a time apart uh, that is on the horizon. Why? Simply because I think they need to figure things out. I think they need to find out uh, where they want to be, what they want to do. Um, do they want to continue this relationship? And if so, at what level? Where do they want to go? How far do they want to continue? Um, and this is really it. They're just lacking of direction here. But I feel as though they haven't had really much time to think about all of this. Um, I feel as though they have a lot, okay? I feel as though they have a lot on their plate with their career right now. I have the career card. I feel as though they work really hard. Maybe they don't have all that much time for you or for the relationship. And this is why maybe one of their questions also, why they're wondering what is going to happen in this relationship. Do I really have time? Maybe for you, it's not enough time that is consecrated to you. Maybe this is you who are feeling this. But I feel really as right now, 
you know, your partner needs to be alone, needs to figure out where he or she wants to go. I feel as though there is going to be a small time of um, of separation on the horizon. I feel as though there's a lot of time that is consecrated to the career. Um, they're really trying to find their way. Um, I do feel as though the partner is also a very stubborn, somewhat maybe even aggressive person here. So kind of edgy. So you do need to be careful. You really do need to leave them their time to be th by themselves because if you do not, you might just end up pushing them away. And I do feel that, you know, while this moment of solitude, while this moment of separation, you're going to have to have some trust. Okay, I have the trust card here. You're going to have to have trust that this situation um, is going to, um, you need to have faith is really what it is. You need to have trust into the relationship. You need to have faith. You need to believe that there is something there. There is something worth fighting for. There is something worth waiting for, that this is not a breakup. It's a pause. It's a pause to try and figure out exactly where we want to go and how far we want to go. Because right now I feel as though both partners are not quite, uh, you know, quite fulfilled in this relationship. And so there needs to be a little bit of an assessment. That being said, I'm not saying there's no breakup, not whatsoever. I do feel as though there is love here. But I do feel as though when you do get back together you're going to be playing a different role in this relationship I feel as though maybe you'll have more presence into the relationship or maybe your partner will there's going to be some role changing here okay so there's going to be some um, one of you is going to have more power in this relationship um, and when I say more power um, I don't necessarily mean power as strength as you know coming over the other person in decisions and everything and um, what I should actually say is not power but a more uh, predominant okay so your presence is going to be more, um, you're going to be there more, okay? So this is really what I do see. So, you know, issues, problems, I see they're not quite sure where they want to go. They're really, really focused on the work. They have, you know, a little bit of a difficult personality here. But this is really about the partner trying to find some soul searching, trying to figure out exactly what it is they want and where they want to go. I feel as though they're kind of lost right now. So um, this does conclude the reading for the sign of Aries. Uh, I do hope that you did enjoy it. I hope they gave you certain messages. I hope it resonated with you. If ever you do have any questions you would like to have a personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. And in the meanwhile, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll be seeing each other very soon. So many blessings to you and thank you so very much for being there. Have a great day.